we're going to go back to the episode last day how to survival today we return boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and today we are going to be going out on yet another raid yes raiders you guys can go ahead oh no they're not happy with that oh no i think i may have annoyed the raiders uh hold on oh no did we accidentally give them not enough that i thought that prompt they'd be happy with don't tell me there's angry raiders coming for me uh no there aren't okay that's good news that's good news okay i panicked a little bit that guy seemed like he wasn't super happy but i guess he's happy so that's all good but as you guys saw there is also the convoy that we are going to be heading on over to in addition to that so let's just go ahead and start beginning today's adventures which are going to be involving a raid as well so let's go ahead and actually call on the raiders so it could be like hey yo what is up raiders yeah that's right hopefully they're not too angry please give us a good base let's go ahead and get y'all and myself the bunker code for today today's code is going to be three four eight five seven at the time of me tossing this up if that's out of date by the time you're trying to put in, make sure you check that comment section down below for an up to date version brought to you by the favorite fantastic Peter here at the Slap Gig. But in addition to all of that, we also got some quests that we are going to be knocking out. And check it, check it. We have a really good quest that I'm actually very excited about because the next time we level up, we are getting some C4 explosive. And there are actually a couple of Bunker Alpha ones. So we're going to be heading on, heading on over to Bunker Alpha with our tickets with this jazz and trying to get that done. But first things first, we got to modify these puppies. And there's actually a quest to go ahead and modify a gun for one of today's today's uh whatchamacall for one of today's quests you guys actually just heard it right there so already we are knocking out some productivity in that way shape form or fashion as well and hopefully you guys are having an absolutely favorite fantastic sunday and or whatever day you may be watching this as me i'm doing pretty good i'm recording some last day on earth which is always a blast i'm talking to these dudes and ooh, they want some c4 and they want the blind one down those are two quests that i think i should be able to do but not just are we playing last day on earth we have our next opportunity at the convoy of Event. and the convoy event means what's up dealer i ain't interested in you at the moment the convoy event means there's a chance we get the cutoff finger and we can get into that secret bunker alpha room we're gonna be heading to bunker alpha to kill the blind one we're gonna be opening up crates and like i said we're going out on that raid zone absolutely action-packed day but as we are heading over to the convoy i actually want to go ahead and ask you guys how the convoy oh yeah and the puppy's coming out to play too how the convoy has been treating y'all have you guys been able to get any really good loot out of this or more specifically oh uh we do have the sprint ability uh which one is this is the zombie one or the raiders one? Oh, we got a raider over there what up raider how you doing big boy no worries i got plenty of pistol drizzle for you where that came from hey he's actually dropped his machete that's good hopefully the guys with guns actually decide to drop their guns what is up raider oh he got a pistol my pistol's a little bit better unfortunately for you unfortunately he didn't drop it though this guy's got a winchester like sometimes they don't drop their guns which is i don't understand why like come on man do me do me a little solid there and what's up raider how you doing come closer and you'll get a bullet dude you have like a winchester you're a pushover thank you for the winchester though and maybe there oh, she blows baby we got the cut off a finger from today's convoy event which means we are going to be snaking our way over to the bunker and revealing the contents of the secret room that was revealed in update 1.9.8 so what's up baby i want to do this the first time we got the convoy event we were not lucky enough to have that happen though but the second time around oh baby are we looking lucky enough we're gonna be opening up so many crates hopefully we're gonna be getting some really good loot from today's raids as well but before we do that we're gonna go ahead and hop into these convoy uh chests loot up everything that we can get all the loot that we can i'm crossing my fingers it's pretty solid so far eh it's looking light it's looking nice, but like I was saying, I'd love to hear how it has been treating you guys, this convoy event, the loot you guys have been getting. Have you been able to get the finger like we just got as disgusting as that might be to go ahead and actually break your way into that secret bunker alpha room? Any of that type of jazz in that comment section down below and even what you got from that secret bunker alpha room, because we're going to be heading over there ourselves and hopefully we're going to be getting some good loot. But yeah, I'd love to hear that from y'all in that comment section down below. And reminder that, that comment is going to put your third of the way into the Wii U Todd Dollar at two such place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do is always make sure to like button, make sure you subscribe. That will enter you in on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and zet will be the wonderful week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information regarding the game as soon as it comes out regarding future updates and that type of jazz not to mention the future update gameplay itself as soon as that time does come because currently we're checking out 1.9.8 
dominate to the fullest extent possible. Hopefully, we'll be getting some Winchester mods in our possession soon because last time we tried, we got like 100 blueprints and not a single one was a Winchester mod, which was a little bit disappointing. I think I've looted everything here. So that's good news. Uh, no, actually, okay, I forgot this bag. After this, though, I do believe we have everything. So, Mr. Baggy, yeah, not looking super great. This is more of a beginner's event, I'd say. It doesn't really give you anything super crazy. It only has a couple of enemies, but, I mean, do the finger that you get, a little, little collectible. That's, that's not too shabby. It's not too shabby, so we're going to be making our way over there. But, yeah, it's the best way of staying up to date with all that information regarding future updates because I stay as hyped as possible. There's some really good ones in the works, such as the active skill mod update that I want in my belly ASAP. We're just going to unlock even more mods for every single gun that have freaking special abilities with them, not to mention the new Western update that's looking like it's going to be update 1.10. That's adding in the new areas, the ATV, the ability to check this place out and cross the river because you do need an ATV to cross the river the atv transmission we're gonna have to get that in some way as well there's a whole ton of fan freaking ass things so that's a great way of staying tuned with that and of course as soon as those updates do come out we're gonna be diving into them head first and doing everything humanly imaginable within them but it's also a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway that i was talking about and on top of it all it's a great way to stay up to date with all the dope survival <laughs> games that we are playing over here on the star sniper daily videos channel because uh I like me some survival games, and there are some really good ones coming out later this year. We got freaking the new Seven Days to Die Alpha 17, biggest alpha update in the history of the game. You guys may have seen some Seven Days to Die before. I've been waiting on that for the longest time. Fallout 76, a Fallout survival game officially made by them. There's like a new Walking Dead game coming out that's like four-person co-op. They got freaking Don't Starve Ham. Like, just a whole ton of dope stuff that y'all want to make sure to stay tuned for. But, uh, yeah, with that said, with that done, Hope you all decide to do that while I decide to activate hard mode so we can say hello to the blind one and knock out an additional quest. And oh, let's go ahead and actually read today's note. We haven't done that quite yet. How rude of me. Soldiers on the wall are said to be giving out power armors to explore the territory within the perimeter, but not to everyone interested. If you manage to get inside, don't panic. The world behind the wall will seem different to you. Yes, that's the multiplayer zone, baby. That's where things get a little bit different, a little bit spooky. But we also do have another Bunker Alpha quest we're going to be knocking out here. Not going to be doing every single quest today. Today, since we did get the finger in the convoy event, wanted to focus along that a little bit. But no worries. We got a ton of quests that we will be knocking out. We'll probably be able to get that one as well. So a whole ton of niceness. And if I am not mistaken, we now have access to yet another C4. That is right. After a certain amount of time, the quest will literally start to net you C4. I was up to two C4 when this episode started. Now we have access to a third but better yet we got access to the contents of this secret room that was added in 1.9.8 and we will be able oh oh my god i'm dying of thirst hold on hold on i gotta get a little bit of hydration nation up in here get over here bottles of water i need you guys i need you bad Woo! was not expecting that to come in so quick I'll, we'll get plenty of food though oh we gotta urinate too hold on can i can i like pee there we go don't mind me just uh just doing my own thing oh my god you can see the stink dude i've stunk this corner up a ton but as i was saying the contents of this other doorway are locked behind the terminal the terminal requires a finger well i got a finger for you and we have made our way into the secret room of 1.9.8 what kind of loot you got for me secret room no whammy no whammy no whammy i'm crossing my fingers i hope that you are too okay Meh. I, I don't know. That's all right, I guess. Hold on. I'm actually going to to toss that over there. Use that. Free up a little bit of inventory room here. But, uh, well, that's a little bit of a bummer. Definitely not as hype as I was expecting. But I guess if you take this, like, if you think about it, the convoy event, the difficulty of the convoy event, the fact that you have a chance to get the finger, I think the convoy event is definitely geared more towards newer players. And I don't know. I mean, the contents of this thing, I mean, what? A freaking copper bar, a pistol, some aluminum plate? Like, that's not too shabby for, like, a lower level player. And can we maybe get within this doorway? No, this door is stuck. God dang it. 
Okay, so if you guys didn't know, that's exactly what this door said before, which means that there should actually be something coming, hopefully our way, and I wonder what could be over in that back room, because that is actually looks like the room where all of these crates come from, and there is a doorway leading to it, and as we've seen, these doorways eventually lead to things and certain updates, and the fact that this doorway exists here in the first place, they could have just left this with like a wall or something, but the fact that this doorway exists... I think that means that eventually we will be able to have access to there. And I wonder if maybe we could like C4 into that or maybe get like some sort of access code or whatever it is. Maybe we'll have to find like, maybe we'll just naturally get unstuck. Who knows how they'll do it. Maybe they'll add in like a little terminal. We gotta like find a code somewhere off someone. But dude, that might be the craziest stockpile. That might be a stockpile of chests awaiting us. But whatever, we don't need no stockpile because we came with the tickets. And with the tickets, we get access to these puppies right off the bat. Let's go. We got an engine part as well on top of that. We got a poop ton of food that we are definitely tossing up into our bellies. And I'm actually going to be putting a couple of these things away. I'll most likely grab those in a bit. I'm just trying to make sure that we do have room because when we attack the blind one, if you guys recall, he does. Or when we're doing hard mode, there's going to be three different types of items that we can get. Let's freaking go. We got some shotgun raid and another engine part. Okay. Okay, today's going good. Today is going good. I like the way that this goes, but that pistol's gonna be breaking in a sec, so we got that to worry about. But uh, I mean, we got all the guns, and for now, let's just let's just grab these guns. We'll put them to use, and uh, we'll have a fun time. I'll just drink the last of that, and then I'll put these tickets away there for later. We got 20 red tickets. We should be getting a tenth one or the thirtieth one from the uh, <clears throat> what you recall. <laughs> Was not expecting my pistol to break so quickly. Maybe I should I should have been looking at the uh, pistol durability and I would have been expecting it a little bit quicker. But back to what I was saying, I totally lost my train of thought of what I was saying, but I'm sure I was on the right track to something good. I think I was going to talk about, uh, wow, man, that train totally derailed. Whatever it is, though. Oh, yeah, the blind one's going to be giving us red tickets. We're going to have 30. We're going to pop open the red ticket crate and hopefully get some goody goody goods from that and of course knock out some more uh, quests as well because there is that one quest where they want zombies to die in bunker alpha and i think we should be able to grant that wish and i think there's an older quest that actually wants zombies to die in bunker alpha so we're actually doing like multiple quests at once i just think they happen to be like the exact same quest which is kind of like interesting let's go everybody is dropping stuff for us okay Okay, I like what I see. If everyone wants to drop me some dog tags, I'm cool with that. If you want to drop some notebooks too, I'd be even cooler with that. Some booze? Ain't no need for that at the moment. At the moment, all that I need is the blood of these zombies of Bunker Alpha. And let's wait for this toxic spitter to catch up a little bit. I want to go ahead and kill him first. Just make sure that he dies. And there we go. Now we can, whoop, there we go. Now we can go ahead and focus on the Exploder. A pup is helping out a little bit with the damage he's inflicting. Let's make sure that we get a little bit of separation. And I'm going to go ahead and let my dog do like, ow, damage one more time. And took him out before he went boom which is even better for us so let's go ahead and eat up some jerky and get our food up and get our health up a nice old double whammy and we actually completed another quest of old which is actually really nice like i was saying i think that was i think we had a quest before to kill 20 zombies out of bunker alpha so we literally got the same quest again and now we're kind of doing a double whammy because we were killing zombies for the first quest and killing zombies for the second quest Listen, man, I just love that type of productivity, especially today, because I need maximum productivity in my life. Because we got a midterm tomorrow and a very special trip on Tuesday. That let's go! This stuff is good, but a very special trip on Tuesday that I don't want to reveal too much about, but you guys are going to be seeing some uh, very nice videos from that trip. Even though it's going to be a struggle to do with school and stuff, I, I, I don't want to say too much, but this trip that I'm doing is 100% worth it and bless up that my uh, classes have online versions or like on like they, they put like the classes like the lectures or whatever they put them online dude bless up that actually makes my life slightly easier as well especially preparing for this trip but I, I'm not gonna keep talking about that trip too much but keep, keep your eyes peeled there's gonna be some ridiculously special videos going up where you're gonna be like what how in tarnation did start get decent I'll be like oh yeah baby that's what I was talking about. Ah, dude, I wish I could just spurt it out, but I do need to keep it low key. But at the very least, I could I, I could tease it a little bit. But uh, Mr. Blind One, I got to tease a little bit of death coming your way, buddy. I got a terminal I'm hacking into. I got, uh, we actually got, oh, perfect. So anything he drops, we should be able to pick up, except maybe, maybe if he drops, uh, 
if he drops his bones, we might need to make some room somewhere other. Maybe I'll use, I, you know, I might try to use some of that, uh, this thing first so it breaks. And then we'll take him down with the rest of our shotgun rain. But uh, hello, blind one. How do you do? It's your favorite buddy, Papa Star, coming along to visit you. Yeah, I know. I know, blind one. I am such a good friend. No need to thank me. I, I do it. I do it for the good. I care about your well-being. And I'm just here trying to treat the fact that you love crashing into walls. And okay, there we go. Here's what I'm doing. Ooh. Beautiful. That was actually some really nice execution. We got some M16 shots off until the recoil kicked in, switched to the shotgun, made some shotgun magic occur, and then whoop, let's go ahead and start dealing with him. And then we got the shotgun rain. Maybe one more. Nice. We got one more off. He's going to heal. I say no, no, no. No heals today. And he's already at half health with plenty of shotgun rain to go. But no. The pupper is getting so tired. Lexi, you're doing a standout knockout job. They're trying to do some damage to the blind one. I appreciate it a ton. Will I be able to get six shots off? And will any of these be criticals? Oof. One more last second. No, no, no. No snacks for you, blind one. I'm over here. I'm your personal trainer. Okay, the fact that I'm pumping you full of shotgun rain has nothing to do with this. I'm just your personal trainer trying to make sure you don't overeat those dead bodies. All right, let me just say, those dead bodies are very high in calories. They do have a lot of protein. Props to you on the protein. But uh, I'm, just trying, I'm just trying to be your nutritionist here. Watch the uh, caloric intake, you know? But all right, blind one, go ahead, get your last wave in on me because I'm about to be giving you a full dosage of a little buddy known as Shotgun Rain. Can we get a critical up in here? Shotgun Rain to you, blind buddy. See you later, alligator. And dude, seven dog tags, five notebooks, and four of those. This has been one of our best runs in terms of doing this stuff, which is actually really nice. I don't know, man. We actually got pretty lucky today. How many more zombies you need dead, my friend? Eight more. Well, there are a couple more topside that we could go ahead and kill. These guys are hard mode zombies. They're going to be a little bit harder to kill. And I'm not really trying to progress through the bunker floors today. At the moment, please leave message after the beep. Beep. Uh, but instead, what I'm trying to do is focus on that raid. Because we now have access to our third C4. And we'll even be able to knock out or grab a couple more things from our quests. We'll go ahead and actually start redeeming those after we pop open this red crate. But... That's another thing, dude. This red crate might give us a fourth C4, at which case... Also, we didn't get revenge raided. And you know what the awesome thing is about not getting revenge raided? <laughs> that puts us in an interesting little scenario. Because that means we're at three skulls. We are going to be able to go up to four skulls. Hopefully some sort of triple raid strategy. Not strategy. Tragedy. Dear mama English is hard. Hopefully some sort of triple raid tragedy doesn't go down like it did last time. Because that was the source of a lot of heartbreak. Or, you know, even the double raid that happened last time. Man, we've just been getting raided a lot under, like, the worst circumstances. But we're making some really great progress towards our next floppy disk. Already easily over a third of the way. Which is very nice with that but all right specialist enough talking to you i want to talk to a little terminal over by my pupper all right i brought my puppy here lexi for good luck lexi don't worry i'll get you home you're about to be well rested but please lexi cross your paws and everyone else cross your fingers that we get access to another c4 there's not another c4 coming our way yo doesn't matter another engine part a minigun silenced m16 shotgun rain and an a uh, to decay yeah that is uh that's pretty nice our swat armor getting a little bit dinked up we could go ahead and grab this stuff for the time being also another thing i want to grab is uh, make sure that we do that and then we could grab what did i just put away uh, I put away the turret parts, right? I think we can just come back for these things, honestly. There are a lot. Uh, I'll, I'll come back. I'll grab these home. I'll, I'll leave some weapons here. We'll come back for them. Uh, but yeah, I'll, or honestly, I'll eat up the rest of my Jakey, too. That's another thing we could do. Free up an extra slot. And why don't we grab some of these? Because we should be able to stack those with stuff from other ones. But no worries. I'm going to come back. I'm going to grab this stuff just because I'm not grabbing it now. It doesn't mean that it's going to be lost to the depths of the bunker, guys. I know that that's a common misconception. I see those comments sometimes like, Shtah, how could you leave behind that, uh, that, that single green ticket? And I'm like, guys, no worry. I can go back for it, especially when we're not in the middle of recording for a video because then I could like pretty easy peasy don't even have to use energy I could just start like walking to the bunker whenever I'm done walking I'll be Gucci McSwaggins to go I know that we got two slots over here in the chopper, but listen 
I want to prioritize one thing and one thing only. That is getting over to this raid and having ourselves a very fun time with that. But thank you, Mr. Convoy, for the great stuff that you have provided us today. But for now, I got to provide some stuff back into my base. And then I got to provide y'all a fan freaking fantastic raid. We got to talk to the raiders. Hopefully, they're not too salty about last time. I know we gave them like a stack of green tickets. You might be like, Star, how could you give them a stack of green tickets? Well, we had like a lot of stacks of green tickets from the raid we just did, and we still have a lot of green tickets back at base. And green tickets are very slow to go through, alright? Maybe if we could trade them up for like yellow or red tickets, I definitely would not have traded them, but for now, we're doing kind of okay. Uh, so they do want us to whip out a C4. No worry, buddy boy. Why don't we go ahead and start cashing in on some of these rewards? We got the gas tank reward from the quests as well, up before level 40 feels good man but not just that we're also getting an engine part up in here we're getting a c4 we're even getting another one of those although i don't think we're even ready to level up and 45 has provided us some other stuff as well but check it out as soon as this c4 enters god dang it my inventory is full uh i'm gonna go ahead and empty out my inventory and then it's gonna enter my bullet and then we're going to go out on this raid. So, talk to you on a sec. And if you all go ahead and take a gander into our inventory, we got all the resources we need for a successful raid. Let's just go ahead and make sure that our weapons are up to the task. And we want to go ahead and swap to the raiding site, as I call it, because that ensures that our shotgun does a even 80 damage, making it a murder machine for anything that dares come at us it can one shot fast biters three shot floater bloaters and i believe it can even uh whatchamacallit uh it should be able to four shot the toxic abominations but with that c4 added to our inventory they are happy with what we have done there let's fast forward to the other things that they have for us complete the quest and with that we are about to be at four skulls ladies and gentlemen Boys and girls, and I done never felt better. Let's just make sure that we go ahead and toss the hatchets and whatnot into our inventory. We do not want to be crafting these in the middle of the raid. In case y'all don't know, crafting during the raid actually does make noise, so you always want to make sure you come prepared to the raid with your stuff. Although, technically speaking, you could just craft on the world map. You know what I mean? Instead of having to, like, necessarily resort to crafting on, uh, whatchamacallit, crafting in the map, you could actually do it that way. And BBC X2. All right, buddy, let's see what you got to offer me besides an opportunity to get back up to four skulls. That's, that's, a, very, that's a very big part of it. But another great thing that is being offered is the, uh, the opportunity at some good loot. I never pass up an opportunity to get us something good. And this base, ooh, ooh, ooh. This base appears like it might be willing to offer that. What, do we have anything good over here? He's got carrots, all right. He's right. He's got carrots for us, ooh, ooh. He's crafted up a lot of things by the looks of it. And luckily, it doesn't even look like we need stone to get into the reaches of his base. Well, hi diggity dog there, neighbor. Why don't we go ahead and just begin at the doorway? Knock, knock. It's Papa Star O'Clock. I got an axe and uh, you got a wall. It's a match made in heaven. And by the looks of it, okie dokie, artichokey. Uh, I think I see what he's going for here. It appears to be a little bit of a base like this. Let's see if there isn't maybe a wooden wall on the back side we could use. The reason I'm looking one for the back side is because the area we just entered through. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. There actually are a couple of walls here. We should be able to break through. Oh, oh my, oh me, oh my. Okay, I like this. Let's get to breaking. Hopefully this will lead us somewhere good. The reason I want to do this is this is going to make it ridiculously hard. Oh no, okay. Hmm, oh, don't tell me it's a honeycomb type of base. Ugh, it's the vibe that I'm getting right now. What up, pup? How you doing? Ugh, I'm trying to think. Do we continue looking through here? Maybe a little bit. Is this going to be a level one axe? No, this is a level two over here. Mm. Well, we only have so many level two axes left at our disposal. So I, I don't know if that's something we want to invest into. The reason I wanted to head over here. What kind of floor is that? That's a stone floor. But the reason I want to head over this way is because there's a good opportunity that then when the big one comes around, it's going to take him a long time to get around to us, right? Whereas at the moment, I don't know, like he's got stone and stuff here. I'm just really worried he has a very honeycomb type of base, you know? He does have a doorway here. He does have a dead body there. So, all right, you know what? YOLO, 
I just want to get to the good stuff. I'm not going to be picky. I just want to find out where the chests may lie. And oh, la la. I think we may be uh, well on our way to figuring that out. What's up, dudes? How you doing? Oh, they're all weakened by the spikes. Thank you, spikes, for making my life a little bit easier. Uh, but I mean, there's a doorway there. I, I don't know, man. As much as I'd love to continue looking on over through that way that I saw, it, it's a risky maneuver. And I do want to make sure we walk out of here with loot, especially if we are going to be investing a little something known as C4 into it. But over here, I don't know, man. He's got his little blind one head. I think he's trying to show us that there's some goods. He's, he's killed the witch. He's killed the blind one. This man ain't no pushover. So let's just go ahead. Let's get to knocking. Bada big bada boom. Oh, me, oh my. And so we have entered. Yeah, it's kind of good that we did it this way. It definitely feels like it's going to be better in the long run. Now, here's the question, though. Is this where his good stuff is? Or is his good stuff going to be even deeper? I'm going to be ignoring that for a moment. Okay. He did not realize that he has one of those things. What up, Toxic Abomination? Shotgun rain to you. Oh, is that another one? No worry, Floater Blood. A plenty of shotgun rain for you as well, buddy Jimbo. Uh, he has some colored chests over there. We might want to try and take that thing out. I'm not going to lie. Uh, here's the thing, though. He does also have that, what, like, this room over here that goes even deeper within. I, I feel like that's where the goods are, man. I feel like that's where the goods are. We got to find a way to take this thing out. I should have a VSS in our inbox from uh, one of the openings we've done in the past. Or even just... Uh, I, I think I have a modded VSS somewhere from one of those past openings that I was talking about. Do we? Yes, sir. Yeah, I want to make sure that we use a modded one so we get the most usage out of it. We're going to be taking out this turret. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And we're going to be seeing if he's protecting anything good by him. But the reason that that turret being there is also interesting is because technically if we're in there, he'd be making a lot of noise. So maybe I'll see forth through this door. That'll break that chest over there, be a double whammy. I do want to see though, maybe before we decide to invest the chest, if there isn't anything good. Okay, a lot, a lot, a lot of iron. YOLO, let's, let's toss the C4 on there and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Hopefully something good because the big one is going to be coming soon and we still don't have anything to show from this raid, but Dude, that is like the most inner sanct sanctuary of his entire base. If there's ever a place to put ridiculously good things, that is 175.972552. I don't even know what number that is. Percent where it's going to be. So we're going to... Ah, uh, it's going to make some noise breaking through this chest too, which kind of sucks, but YOLO! I just want to see what we can't get because I'm telling you, man, I got a good feeling! Oh! That, it's pro that probably is where his good stuff is, but I just realized, by the looks of it, it is a honeycomb type of base. Ah, that's a fat L for us, my dudes. That is a fat L. Did this thing have anything in it, at least? Uh, oh, Kidoki. Well, I, I guess we could walk home with a stockpile of SWAT armor at least, but dude, it looks like raids have actually been getting better and better. And hey, task completed. But yeah, it looks like we've actually been getting our hands on like some pretty serious looking raids, which is, I don't know, kind of an interesting interesting thing to make note of. And hey, we got a scuba mask. Okay, I could get behind that. I could get behind getting a ton of gas as well. Get behind grabbing some of those. Uh, let's go ahead and get behind a certain amount of SWAT armor too. Because we're pretty low on SWAT armor. So let's just make sure we got one of everything over here. So we got... Uh, I'll put that away. Put that away. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four. That's a full set. Uh, we need one of those. One, two, three, four. That's a full set. We got the helmet. Let's get that. Let's get that. And then we actually have multiple sets of SWAT armor awaiting us. So that's pretty nice. Why don't we go and put some things over into our chopper, though? We're not getting anything amazing like floppy disk, but this is definitely an interesting base, man. It just has so many chests that it's just it's just one of those that's kind of like hard to most properly capitalize off of, you know? All right, let's uh, go ahead and pour everything we got into there. I'll toss that there. Maybe I'll leave the two behind so we have room for even more stuff. And I, I guess I'll put uh, put those away. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to capitalize what we have and what we can over to the max. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Do we just look for the colored chests? That's our best, but I'm not using any more C4. I don't see any other colored chests like that black one that he had, which actually looked like it paid off really well. I might just try to break, break into his two blue ones. Yeah, like he's got a couple up here that might be okay. 
May I feel like his this one might be protecting something good, you know? So, okay, why don't we go? Let's soften up a couple chests. We'll try to get our grubbit little fingers on a couple of these puppies. Let's definitely soften up the blues. There we go. Nice and soft like some fabric softener. And uh, we're about to break the noise threshold, so we do need to be ready. And uh, is this going to... YOLO! That's going to break it. That's going to break it. Okay, we got some iron plates out of that. We got some nails out of that. God dang it. This is not paying off the way that I was hoping it would. Nope. Okay. Definitely nothing worthwhile. We could try breaking into this chest. Could be good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not trying to get stuck in there. Okay, definitely, definitely. Let's make sure that you get out of the way. Not trying to get stuck, as I was saying. Um, some of you guys said, why don't I just try to kill the big one with the spikes? Guys, he regenerates health after a certain point. You literally can't kill him. A little bit of a bummer, but so be it. Uh, we're gonna do one quick old loop-de-loop -loop here. Maybe this will help us out. Okay, actually, yeah. I'm gonna run out of the map. Uh, we're gonna go back into the map in that lower right-hand corner. Uh, because that's where our thing spawned in. And maybe we could get our hands on, like, one more chest and see if there isn't anything good. I mean, we're, uh, you know what? Worst case, let's just go back. Let, let's just grab another set of SWAT armor. Honestly, this many sets of SWAT armor, you gotta admit, it's it's something. I don't know. I've, I've learned my lesson from some raids. Don't get too greedy. So I'm, I'm gonna grab what I can here. Uh, the Toxic Abomination should hurt himself a lot on these spikes, which is the good news. Yeah, there he goes. Actually, right here. Boop. See you later, alligator. I don't know where the big one is. He's definitely chasing after us. Or did he, like, glitch out of the map? I'd be so happy if he somehow glitched, dude. I'd be so happy. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's make sure he doesn't get us stuck in the corner. Oh, yeah, he's coming. He's coming. He's an angry camper. Hold on. I want to see if, uh... No, that's just a whole ton of food. Nothing good over there. Yeah, just... I don't know, man. I think his good stuff is within that central honeycomb, and it just so happens we didn't get into the best part of it. But with that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for today's raid. And on top of it all, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Can't wait. Oh, perfect. The last 10 energy that we do have. Can't wait to see what y'all got to say regarding uh, what you call regarding the convoy and how it has been treating y'all in that comment section it's down below. In addition to hopefully the fan freaking fantastic Sunday that you guys are having. Wish me luck. I'm going to be studying super hardcore for that midterm tomorrow and uh, having some very cool things going on this week that hopefully i don't know when i'll be able to show them off but as soon as i can there's gonna be some fan freaking fantasticness headed straight your way but that's gonna start wrapping up for me for now Woo! at least we got a pistol out of that too best of luck to you guys and gals get the chopper guest they could join the chopper squadron best of luck breeding your pups get the true fred perk not to mention leveling up your own perks and skills on top of finding the best blueprints that you can and building up the best attachments for the best guns that you got best of luck building up your base protecting it from raids and going out on dope raids of your own not to mention defeating all the bosses of the game has to throw at you going out on dope events like the brand new convoy and getting into that secret bunker room and hopefully getting some good loot getting past the multiplayer wall head most important of all having yourselves an absolutely favorite fantastic time all throughout that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching her so it's an awesome one i'll talk to the next one see ya